Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Um, sorry I've not uploaded a video for a while, but truth be told, my diary has been chocker with installations and I'm really just trying to keep my head above water, but that's a good thing, it's nice to be busy. But I've put some time aside today because I want to do a video um, specifically about rural crime and to be more specific about livery yards, horse yards, um, livery yards that are out in the middle of nowhere and don't have a phone line. It's very important that if they've not got a phone line, you've got some mains power, you're on the grid, but you've got no phone line, CCTV can be a problem for you. Why? Because you can't access it remotely on your mobile devices. But we thought about this a long, long time ago and we've been able to get round that particular downfall because if you haven't got a phone line, I'm not blaming you, uh, one of our customers was quoted by Openreach only six months ago, £228,000 plus VAT. The cost of the line rental was £22,500 per month and of course another £14 on top of that for the internet, which is disgusting. I, I can't see why anybody would pay that type of money. I don't blame you. I wouldn't do it either. So, livery yards that don't have phone lines. And this can be for any type of uh, rural building. If you've got some power and don't have a phone line, and just can't afford to get it there, but you want CCTV so you can access it remotely, this video is for you. So, just bear in mind some of my... Um, usual subscribers this is going to be a slower video than what it usually is because i'm going to be trying to explain not only some of the scary things like why livery yards are targeted by thieves but then i'm going to be talking about cctv equipment that you probably know a lot about but the person who's got a livery yard or is renting one got a horse on one won't know about it so i'm not sure if it's for you but please you know feel free to tag along and i'll uh, go through some of the things that we've got out here. The start of this video is going to be a bit scary and that's because I'm going to be talking about why livery yards are targeted. Here we go. After 22 years as an AV engineer, I can tell you now the top three things that thieves go for on livery yards. Number one, tax sheds and lockers. They go straight to those things. Why? Because the horse tack has got a very high resale value. I know how much tack costs because I'm from the horsey fraternity. I've been messing around with horses sort of most of my adult life. All my friends have still got them uh, and it's a problem. All the stuff is very expensive. So if you've got a tack shed or something like that or a tack room, no matter how many padlocks you put on the front of it and how many chains you put round it, one of these days, you'll turn up. It's probably happened in the past, unfortunately. And all that stuff will be on the floor. You open it up and everything's gone. Hopefully, you've kept most of your stuff at home and not left it there. But if you have, it can be a problem because it's very expensive. Now, when I'm talking about tack, I'm talking about those rugs in summer that you've put in one of those seat locker boxes. Um you spent all that money having them cleaned professionally, put them in a, a nice locker box so that obviously the mice and the rats can't get at them, they'll be gone. Your personal stuff that you use for when you're showing, whether it's uh, local events, affiliated, or even higher than that, your show jackets, all your, your trousers, your boots, Ariat boots are an absolute fortune, aren't they? You know, three, four, five, six, and seven hundred quid really expensive um gone wellies lashamu um hunters gone it's disgusting isn't it but it's true on the wall you've got the little hooks up there we've all seen them at the little tack shops you put your name on for your horse don't you um lily candy whatever the horses are called and you've got all your bridles on there and all your bits again very expensive items that you've bought over the years that are perfect for your horse, gone, stolen. And the pièce de résistance of all things that thieves want when they come onto your livery yard 
is your saddles. God, I hope people don't still keep saddles on the yards. <laughs> I know for a fact they do, because I get called to these things. Take them home. I know that saddles are very recognisable. Um, I bought um, a Falcon Hawk event saddle ooh, some 10 years ago. Um, obviously, it was fitted. I'd recognise it now 10 years later. If, it was, if it's still out there, I would recognise it. But they're expensive. That, that saddle was £3,000. Some are less than that. Some are more than that. And God almighty, if you leave something that costs that amount of money down at a livery yard, I can't help you. You know, I know I'm doing a video for your benefit, but for God's sake, take them away from the farm. Put them in the boot of your car if you have to and keep them in the boot of the car. Just don't put them at the farm. Now then, that's all tack. But there's other things. Number two on the list it's horse trailers. You know, the two main ones, of course, Independent and Eye for Williams. And Eye for Williams are stolen all the time because they all look at the same. So whether it's some of the older Eye for Williams trailers, your 505s and 510s, or the newer ones, which are really sexy uh, horse boxers, uh, the 506s and the 511s, they've come in metallic colours and all sorts, got the new light clusters on the back, Really, really nice horse boxes, but they are stolen all the time. I can say that in my lifetime, I've come back from shows, pooper scooped the back of the horse box, and then reversed it into a really tiny little nook and cranny right behind the stables, underneath all the bushes. Why? Because I don't want it seen from the main road. We all do it, but believe me, if it is seen, someone will jump over at some point, have a look at that horse box, if they see it from the road, and look what type of security you've got on it, whether it's hitch locks or, of course, wheel locks. And if you haven't got any of that on, it's gone. It is. They'll break the lock off the front gate and they'll wheel the thing straight out. Sad, but true. Again, I said this was going to be a bit doom and gloom at the beginning. Another thing, quad bikes. If you send the girls down the field to do some poop scooping and then of course you get the chain harrowing out but you don't want to load of divots everywhere by taking the jeep down into the field you'll bob it onto the back of a quad bike and have a little bit of a blast round to clean it all up quad bikes have a bullseye painted on them if you've got a quad bike and someone sees it from the road you can bolt the thing to the floor you'll come in the next day all the bolts are snapped off and it's being levered over the back fence, put onto a trailer or into the back of a four-wheel drive and it's gone. So sad, but true. Now then, let's leave that alone for a minute because we all know how scary that is. You might just want CCTV like this to just check who's on the yard. Now this is an artificial intelligence camera. Don't let that frighten you. Arnold Schwarzenegger is not going to turn up looking for a girl called Sarah Connor. Artificial intelligence means this camera can look for humans and vehicles or both at the same time. So if you've got an AI camera, you can set it to send notifications through to you when it sees a human or a vehicle on your property. Let's say you've set it from 7 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning. You'll get a notification through to your mobile phone with a snapshot of whoever or whatever it's seen and a, uh, a little playback video that you can play as well, or a live view. Um, this is done, of course, through one of these wireless routers that we've got out here, so that's a really handy thing to have. Even though this is quite an advanced camera, um, don't let it frighten you, not particularly expensive. Some people will ask for a stand standard camera put it into a stable somewhere, um, specifically if you've got a mare that's due to fall, um, you can, of course, then log on through this wireless router, which I'm going to show you shortly. Again, no phone line necessary, because if you've got a mare that's waxed up, um, you can be quite concerned, because, of course, she may be due to fall imminently. I know they do uh, have um, sort of a bit of a phantom run where they can wax up and they're nowhere near, but if they do wax up and you've got one of these cameras or something similar, watching the horse in the stable if it's going to fall and it's the first fall when they can often need help 
I've been out at blob o'clock in the morning, jumped over the, the fence, opened the gate up and had to go in and help out. I don't mind getting my hands mucky or dirty. Um, I'm one of those types of guys. Even a second time round, a mare can need help. Um, but if you've got a camera, you can keep an eye on them. The trick to it is, if you're watching a fall, uh, watching a, a mare on CCTV and you think she's about to fall, when she starts kicking at the corners of the stable, you know she's very close. Usually happens on a night, of course, when it's nice and quiet. So this is another handy tool for that particular use. Now, let's get all that doom and gloom out of the way. It's gone now. It's in the past. It's done. We've spoken about it, even though it's made the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Let's talk about some of this equipment. Now then, this is an active deterrent colour night camera. We have a single PoE injector. I'm only putting a single one out there because I'm talking about one camera at the moment. Um, you can have as many as you like. You can have from one all the way up to 128 cameras, so you've no problem. This is one of our wireless routers that's been out on one of our rental agreements. As you can see, it's got our name on it. And this is completely wireless, has um, a three mobile phone chip inside it. Hence the reason we were talking about not needing a phone line. And that, of course, is so that you can watch this camera remotely or get notifications from it when someone's on your property. And an Xtreme Pro 128GB SanDisk micro SD card. So what do we do with this equipment? Because we need to lighten the mood a little bit. We take this SD card out, this micro SD, sort of thing that goes into your mobile devices, your mobile phones and tablets. We open up the camera and there is a little docking station here. You take the fillet screws out, there's a reset button in there and the docking station for your memory chip. So that memory goes inside, and of course now this camera has its own memory to record on, so doesn't need a DVR or an NVR. You can also see, while this is up in the air, another station here, which has got lots of perforated holes in it, and that is a speaker, okay? Which is brilliant. So this camera is an active deterrent camera, colour night, it has the speaker and the slot underneath the micro SD card. It has a built-in microphone, which is brilliant. So you can actually hear what's going on at the yard as well. It has a super wide um, lens, which is 2.8 millimeters, good for about 102 to 104 degrees. So it's excellent for on corners of buildings. Eight megapixel 4K, of course. That's the, um, the quality of the camera. It's a colour night camera, so it has a white light here on the right hand side that activates on the night automatically with a range of about 25 to 30 metres. So of course it stays in colour 24 hours a day. Brilliant if you're trying to ID people who are sneaking around your livery yard on a night. This also looks like a white light, but it isn't. This has a pulsating red and blue active deterrent flashing LED behind it. It scares people to death. It's brilliant. I love it. And that is why this camera is an active deterrent camera because it has that red and blue pulsating light and it has the built-in speaker underneath. You can use this speaker to actually be a siren that can be set low, medium or high. You can use it for one of the preset uh, warnings that are built into this camera. Warning you are under surveillance, you're on private property, that type of thing. You can record your own message onto this camera, so you can set your own warning if someone comes onto the property while it's looking for humans and vehicles. Uh, and of course, if you get your mobile phone, you can press the button for two-way talkback, and you can talk through the speaker as well. So you've got a speaker and a microphone for genuine two-way talk through. They've got a retaining screw on the front of them, of course, so you can tighten them down nice and tight and they'll sit on the building. Brilliant technology. Great for notification through to your mobile phone. How do we wire this up then? Let's just move that router out of the way. Here's the tail of the camera. 
And remember, you can have one or we well, can have as many of these as you like. It's as simple as that, really. We get a cable. Let's just say this is 50 meters long. Plug the cable, which is Cat5 full copper copper or Cat6, into the tail on the uh, back of the camera. We then get our power injector, which has a tail from here, plugged into your mains, into your plug socket. The green light will be on, and it says PoE and LAN. And this one goes into the PoE, because PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. Then we get another lead. This is only a tiny one that I've made up again, though. It's full copper copper. You plug that into your LAN, L-A-N, and then turn the wireless route around. As you can see, there's no sockets in there for a phone line because it has a phone chip in it. Plug that in there, and that's ready to go. And the beauty of that is you can then play this camera back, live view. You can obviously play back the recordings because it's got a memory chip inside it to record onto, and this will actually push notifications through that PoE switch which is powering it directly into the router and off to your mobile phone. Voila. Now, I'm sure you can see the advantages of that type of technology. Now, this router is from the 3 mobile network. It's 4G uh, at the moment, but it's also 5G compatible. So if you're, in a, a, if you're not in a rural location and there's a good 5G signal there, this works anyway. It's all in the same cost. This one is, has come back from one of our rental agreements. We've got about 60 or 70 out there at the moment, all around the country. Um, this has the full package on it, which is on a monthly rolling basis and totally unlimited, which is £28. But if you sign up for 12 or 24 months, it can be as low as £21. So not an expensive item when you consider how much it costs to have a phone line brought into your livery yard. Again, this just uses a normal plug socket. So if you've got some mains power, away you go. On the front of it, there's a power light. There's a green light here, which is different to the others, meaning that the internet is functional. It has a little white light here, which is, of course, for your um, Wi-Fi. This, like any other router, has a password on the back of it for Wi-Fi, so you can use it for browsing while you're at the livery yard. Of course, you can turn it off if you so wish to do so. And these three lights here, you can have five on in total, and that is your signal strength. We are on 4G at the moment, and the fact that there are three lights on there is pretty impressive because there's a lot of steel in the walls and in the roof of this building. So that's brilliant. Oh, it's just gone down to two. Oh, back up to three. So there you go. That's a really good piece of kit. Again, three mobile just tends to be better in rural areas than, uh, say, Vodafone. Vodafone's actually quite poor, I've found. Um, brilliant piece of kit. That is your system made up, ready to go and working. It's one camera, but you can have as many as you like. Now, if you've never seen a standalone camera like this before, a lot of people haven't, you might be more used to something like this, which is a DVR. There are, of course, NVRs, which are network video recorders as well. We also sell those. But this is a four-way DVR. Again, it's got the AI, artificial intelligence. It's 4K and 8 megapixel compatible, so it can go all the way up to that. Um, you can see a picture of a mobile phone here, because that's exactly what they're designed to do. And it says AOC, which is audio over coax, the very thing that I've just been talking about, smart motion detection, and perimeter protection. And that, of course, the perimeter detection, blah, 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 is, of course, looking for humans and vehicles. This DVR will allow four normal standard coaxial HD cameras to work. Two of those cameras can have the intrusion detection area set up because it's got AI in it, and it will also take two IP cameras like the one behind it here. So we can do anything for you, really. There's no limit to it. But if you like these uh, standalone cameras, 
The PoE switches come in all sorts of sizes. The one back there that I showed you earlier on was a single. As you can see, for PoE, they do 8s, 16s and upwards. So there you go. That's how we tackle CCTV systems at livery yards that don't have phone lines. It's really simple equipment to set up and install. Um, obviously the cameras are a little bit complicated because you've got to get everything just right with them, but really handy to have. Um, if you've got any questions on any of this equipment, please feel free to come through to our Facebook page. Uh, if you look, there is a link at the bottom of the description. I always leave it there because I do not advise people to put their security needs on these comments on YouTube. Um, you don't want other people seeing what you are writing. These comments are there for everybody to see. And that's specifically for people who have asked questions about certain issues. And of course, for people who might want to ask that same question. If I've answered it previously, because I, I answered all the questions on YouTube and Facebook, those uh, comments have to be kept open. So come through, drop into the description, click through to the link uh, for our Facebook page. As you can see, Facebook at Paul CCTV Systems UK. It'll drop you through to us. It's private. Let us know what you need and we'll see if we can get it sorted out for you. We cover the entire Yorkshire area, down into Lincolnshire uh, and across into Cheshire. And we go a little bit further up now, so it's not a problem. We can usually get to most places. But if you want something sending out, not a problem. Come through to the Facebook page and we will help. So, this is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK. After a quick video... <laughs> not so quick video on livery yards that don't have phone lines and how we tackle CCTV in those situations. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Click on the description and go through to our Facebook page if you need us. All that's left to say is enjoy the rest of your day, stay out of trouble, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.